Groom schedules shouldn't just list data. They should elevate your entire sheet. So in this video, we will build a fully detailed, polished, and presentation-ready room schedule in Revit. Perfect for showing everything you need with clarity and style. Now let's start by checking what we already have created. I'm going to go to first level and in here, as you can see, I have created my rooms. If I hover my mouse in here, you can see this is one of the rooms that I have created and most of them has their name and their area next to them. Okay, I have created all of these options, all of these rooms. If you go to architecture, you can see the tool in here. I have created all of them with this option and in some places that you cannot separate uh, spaces. For example, in this part, which we have this TV area, we have this entrance and we have this kitchen. You can simply use this room separator. If you want to learn more on how to create rooms, you can just watch this video on top right corner. In here, we're going to see how we can create a schedules for these rooms. Okay, so I'm going to go to view tab and in here, I will create my schedule and quantity in this section. In this new dialog, we're going to simply search for the room, which is in this part, and I'm going to select it. If you want, you can change the name of your schedule there too, but we can always change it when we create the schedule itself. Okay, now in this next section, we are going to select the parameters that we want to see in our schedule. Okay, in here, I'm going to, of course, add the area. Then we have this base finish. You can add base offset. You can add ceiling finish if you want. Then if you have a very huge project, you can add this count. But since we don't have that much room in this project, and because I changed every single name, and so I have different colors on my final plan, um, we don't really need to use this count parameter. Okay, then we can add an image if you have multiple levels and you want to know what type of rooms, what kind of rooms you have in each level, you can add this level too. I just have one level in here, so this doesn't work for me. Then we can add the name, the number, occupancy. I'm going to add the volume and also wall finish. So these are the things that I want to have on my schedule. And before I create it, I want to like make their order the exact way that i want i'm going to add name first after that we can have the area we can have the volume then we can add count in this part if you have as i said multiple rooms you can add it next to the name and then we can add well finish in between the base finish and the ceiling finish and after that we can have the image and um, i added this image at the end because well it looks better in the sheet this way okay i'm going to hit finish and now we have this schedule in this part most of its parts are empty and we have some types of redundant rooms in here we don't have any volume in this part and we are going to see how we are fixing this and turning it into a very interesting and worthy schedule first of all let's see what is the problem with this option redundant room i'm going to find the kitchen in my plan in this part redundant room Okay, apparently I have created this room, but I haven't created the area, the tag, the everything that it needs. So I'm going to simply delete this. If you go to room schedule, you can see that it is not placed. Now I'm going to go to first level. And in this part, if we select this section, as you can see, the entrance and the kitchen area are connected. So to fix it, I need to add a separator in this part like this. And now, as you can see, we have this entrance in here and in this area, we don't have anything. So 
we can just simply add the room in here again and i'm going to change its name to kitchen okay now if we go to room schedule we can find it in this part and we can simply delete this option um, you can also use this trick if you have created multiple rooms and by mistakes you have like delete some of them if you delete your room in your plan it might not work you need to be sure that that room and uh, that you deleted um is no longer there to check it you can just simply create a room schedule with just the name and the area and see if all of them are correct okay i'm going to simply delete this show okay and now we can continue with the next part then we have this volume as you can see it is not computed for creating volume for your rooms you can do different things one of them is to check your levels yes this works on the volume if you want to add volume to your rooms you need to go to the level that you, your rooms are placed on that level for example i'm going to go to this north view and in here i will select this level number one that i have this rooms on that and in this section you can see the computed height this will show the height of our room so if we go to first level and create a section in this part okay if i select this area as you can see it is the library if i click on here it is the kitchen to check and see the levels height for calculating the volume we are going to select this first level and add the height of our room to this section I'm going to go with three for now okay now if we go to room schedule again we cannot see anything this is because when you have created your rooms the option for calculating the volume was off how you can check this you need to simply go to room and area section and in here you can see the area and volume computation i'm going to click on this part and as you can see my option for volume computation was on areas only this way is faster but it is not calculating the volume so if you want to see both of them on your schedule um, I mean next to this area value in here or for just computation on your schedule you need to switch it to this option okay as you can see we don't have that option in this part anymore but if we go to room schedule all of the volumes of each room are calculated separately based on the computation height and if you want to see these volumes next to the area you can just simply select them and switch their room tag to room tag with volume you might see some problems like this and this is because if you go to edit family you will see the volume and the area on top of each other like this if you move one of them down and load it again all right the existing version you probably see both of them i'm going to check the area too in this part and we have both of them in here okay so this is how you can see your volume on your schedule now for the next part for base finish for wall finish and for ceiling finish we're going to add all of these on the level one when we are selecting the room itself okay i'm going to hover my mouse over this room to select it and if you look at the properties you will see some options in this part that all of them are empty you have occupancy department base finish ceiling finish wall finish floor finish occupant all of these can be complete and you can add their permits to this part for example let's fill one of them so for this base finish we can simply go with hardwood okay then for the ceiling finish we can go with acoustic tiles for the wall finish we can go with paint 
Okay, for floor finish, we can go with parquet. Okay, now if we go to room schedule, we can see all of these options in here. Let's build another one. For example, for this kitchen, I'm going to select this room. It is a little bit tricky to select it. And then in this part, I'm going to go with um, for base finish. Let's go with let's go with brick. Then for ceiling, we can go with oil paint. For wall finish, we can go with ceramic tiles. For floor finish, again, we can go with another type of ceramic tiles. Okay, this way. We can fill all of the areas with the materials that we use for them. For example, for this bedroom, we can go with carpet for its uh, floor. We can go with wallpaper for its walls and we can go with just simple paint or wood for its ceiling okay this way you can add all of the detail that you want to use in each room for your project and you will have all of them in your schedule perfectly and clearly you can present what you want in just one simple schedule so the last part which is the most interesting section is adding an image to your room schedule of course you cannot see it in this part but when you add your schedule to your sheet it will be visible there for for example one of these areas for one of these rooms i want to add an image for example for this kitchen i'm going to click on this section and i will add a new one select the image that you want click on ok and when you see it in this part you can click on ok again and it will be in this part i want to also add another one for example for this bathroom i have already made them ready click on add click on this bathroom click on open click on ok and it will be in this part now how we can see them if we go to this sheet create a new sheet with a title block that you have in this part you just need to simply open this schedule section and add this room schedule to your sheet like this and you can see the images in this part with all of the other information that you have added to your schedule if you create your sheets if you create your schedules this way it will look much better and with just one look you can always understand what you want to present for example with just one look to these images to these renders you will understand the type of room the name of it the mm, materials that you have used in different parts and it will be much more interesting on your final sheet and of course you can change the appearance of this room schedule and make it much much better so that's it i really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if there is any topic on your mind that you want me to create a video for that just leave them in the comment section below and i will see you next time